hello, hello. In case you're new here, I am Laura, AKA Lulu Sketches. I am an artist at Disney Animation on Tangled the Series. So part of working in TV for me, I am a member of the Academy. So I get to vote on the Emmy nominees and the Academy has these four year consideration events for lots of shows. They give you food and they butter you up and they try to get you to vote for them. They'll show you the show and then they'll have a little panel and all the actors will come out and you can ask questions. And it's just cool seeing the actors in person. If you guys have been following me a while, you probably already know, but last year, I went to one of these events for Modern Family. It was so cool because after the panel, I actually got to meet the cast. Sofia Vergara, Julie Bowen, who is actually a voice untangled the series. She's Queen Ariana. So we bonded over that and chatted for a while. I also met Ty Burrell, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Eric Stone Street. I went to another one of these events for Outlander and that was amazing because I'm obsessed with Outlander. I was unable to meet the actors at that event. Most of these events, they're not for meeting the cast. Today, I'm going to a foyer consideration event for the show, This Is Us. And I absolutely love This Is Us. I'm obsessed with This Is Us. I just go to the Emmy events for shows that I really love and I got a spot in this one and I was <laughs> So excited because I am so excited to see Sterling K. Brown in person. I am just like, I was shaking earlier because I'm really nervous just being in the same room as him. Andy Moore is also in that show and I've met her before. I met her at Disneyland when we went as a crew. Mandy is the voice of Rapunzel so I feel like she's kind of my co-worker. If I have a chance to wave at her I'll be like, hey remember me? No? Cool. I also would really love to meet Milo, who is the dad in This Is Us, because he was in Gilmore Girls and he was my favorite character in Gilmore Girls. Team Jess for life. If you can't tell, my room is kind of a mess right now because I was trying to pick out an outfit and I was steaming a bunch of clothes. I couldn't decide on shoes. I went for a run earlier and then I have my steamer there. Here is my outfit. I ended up going for very natural tones. So I'm wearing tan tank top. It is from Nordstrom. It's the Junior's brand BP, which fits just like normal sizing except it's cheaper because it's for juniors. I don't know. These pants are from Anthropology, meaning that they were really overpriced. These shoes are Steve Madden. I a little gold necklace, little gold earrings, and these are paper bag waist pants. Oh, oh. Off to the event now. There is a massive line for this event. I just passed some people. They had posters. They were like trying to get them like signed. I guess they know that the actors are gonna come out like over there and they're like waiting for the where the limos are gonna come out. Great, thank you. It's so heavy. Oh, here's the outfit. That looks like a jacket I got you. Free lunch box. Are you glad you came? Already paid for it, so Swag. I guess so. Damn it, that's a massive cookie. Potato chip. A sandwich. Been such a success. It just, you know, like, and I think I've stolen this line from you guys. 17 years ago. <laughs> vulnerability is a difficult thing to accomplish. Ironically, it seems to be the most difficult to accomplish with the people who are closest to us. People that ask me about this show and the experience of being on the show and being an actor on the show, well, what makes it different? It's effortless. Like the words, they stick in your mind and you're not thinking about the words or, or what they are because they just exist as real as real as you relate to anyone in your family. How Jack passes away, but that moment, the candy bar, like all of it, just, I mean, the entire episode is so remarkable. Um, Milo was in the room and I didn't know, walking back and forth before I had to, to go do that scene. And I didn't expect him to be lying in the bed. I had sort of mentally prepared myself for an empty hospital bed. Might have been the best acting I've ever done. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I need a dead body. Uh, she won't go and she won't go out. Drag her out. I love you. Baby girl, I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah, thanks. 
<laughs> There's no ego. There's no ego at all in the room, and they're so welcoming to new ideas. And oh, maybe this does work better. And I think so many things in our lives don't work because of our egos. Okay, he's so excited. It's like the joy on Christmas morning. Yeah, and then, but like, times a million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so cool to him. I miss you guys. What up, fam? What up? Because <laughs> we were trying to get information about what's coming up next season, so feel free to just tell us. That's great. Uh, Jack died. Yeah. <laughs> That's huge. There's this big fire. Uh, Wrong season. Know, yeah, I don't know if anybody knew about that. Let's see. Well, I'm trying. To, let, I don't want to say anything that anybody has hasn't said already. You know, we were going to deal a bit more with Vietnam. You guys talked about that, right? Yes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> That's a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay. We are heading out now. That event was really cool. He did say that Sterling K. Brown was going to be there and he was not there, but I'm glad that he phoned in and had a little session with us. He was actually in New York City promoting his new movie, which I hadn't heard of. What was it called? Like, after 9 p.m. now, right? It's 9.30? It's almost 9.30. I left my apartment at like 4.45. This is the longest Emmys event I have attended ever. Usually we just watch like a 20 minute episode or just a little 20 minute intro video. Then the cast comes out and talks for like half an hour or something. This time, we watched a full episode of This Is Us, which is an hour long show. And then the cast came out and talked for over an hour. So that was pretty neat actually. My arm is getting tired. Vlogging is hard. People did try to run up at the end and talk to the cast, but they were like, sorry, and then left. So I didn't even try to talk to them. They're busy, they're celebrities, we are peasants. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye! Totally forgot to mention how I said we we watched a full episode of This Is Us before the cast even came out. That episode was the Super Bowl episode, which is known as the saddest episode of This Is Us. And it also had like the highest ratings and highest they said it was like, <laughs> what are you doing, Mabel? They said it had like the highest social media reaction of any show or something. It is an extremely sad episode, and that's the episode we watched tonight, and the entire room was just crying while we were watching it. I was trying not to cry, because I was like, I dressed up, I did my makeup nice, I'm not gonna cry during this in a room full of strangers. But as soon as those sad scenes started, the entire room just sounded like, I heard the woman directly behind me like blow her nose a couple times. <laughs> Mabel, are you smiling? Bye!